a quick product review, um, and this is a big deal to me because I'm dealing with a lot of pets in there. Like, you know, they're, they're, these aren't super high drive dogs. A lot of them are kind of medium drive though, and they'll, they'll play uh, possession games a bit and, and tug and all that stuff, but it, it takes some coaxing. And they tend not to do it in high distraction environments because they're just, they're not, it's not like they're Malinois, like they're just genetically engineered. It's just, like, ah, you know, prey drive isn't off the meter. So, and a lot of them aren't super confident too, that's another thing. So, I've been looking for one of these for a long time, which is a tug that squeaks. I use squeaky balls a lot, like old school orthodox. All right, I can't get the squeaky ball. I get their prey drive too high. It's like, dude, I want their prey drive high. I want to manipulate it and do shit with it, you know? Um, I don't know. I mean, if you're an owner and you don't fucking try, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're going to fuck up with something. So who gives a shit if it's a squeaky ball or something else? But for everyone else, you know, it's okay to do stuff like this. So look, and remember, drive's a good thing because we, we want to channel it, right? It's, it's a great thing. High drive dog is a super trainable dog. I mean, it's a lot of responsibility to work, but they're awesome. Um, you know, like Dewey, I never had to, Dewey had to take a towel the first time I met him, and he fucking wouldn't let go of it. You know, it's breeding. Um, but most dogs aren't like that. So, Klin, K L I N, it's a European company. They're awesome. They make the best tugs. I like their leather tugs a lot. This one's a soft plush tug and it has a squeaky inside. And look at this freak. Oh, don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. Uh, Dewey's going nuts. Shh, Dewey, quiet down. So that's actually, so he'll do it a little bit around a high distraction, which is, again, my major challenge. He hates dogs and really hates doing it. Good boy. Good boy. See what I'm saying? So, it, again, the squeak, it, it imitates an animal. It imitates prey dying, you know, squealing. So it's, I'm trying to stimulate their prey drive. Great tool. Um, some of them get distracted by the squeaker. And then they're just trying to, like, chew on it just to get that sound. It's not as effective, but I, this is a really well-crafted uh, tub, you know, it's that, really good with puppies and pets. Um, yeah, very useful to me, because I like, my favorite way to train is with the tub, possession games, that kind of thing. Yeah, good boy, look at him, he loves it. He, he, he's, he's got balls on this one, he's a tough little guy, Karen Terrier. Boy, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, you can get it on caniscolitis.com C-A-N-I-S-C-A-L-L-I-D-U-S.com um, They import really, really good uh, tugs, toys, equipment from Europe. Top of the line stuff. In the, I think the best stuff is coming from over there and I think this is, this is my favorite company for training tools probably overall. We're one of them. Uh, Klin. K-L-I-N. Um, loves it. He's a savage. So uh, anyway, check it out. It, 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 again, it's very useful for pet owners. You try it. You get a puppy. You want to get that prey drive going and then channel it, man. Use it. You're, you're creating a reward system. You know, that's very, very useful. Ooh, and it's also relationship enhancing. So you could graduate from this to a regular pug a lot easier. Ooh, boy, yeah. Good boy. Okay, that's a 